Hi, I'm Ashley Baker. I was actually going to talk today about the Nook. However, as you may or may not be able to see, now that I'm holding my hands, I have nothing. Um, that is because I decided not to get the Nook. So, I'm going to talk to you all a little bit about the pros and cons and how it could and couldn't be used well in a student's life. Well, the way it would work for me and for many students who have already paid a lot to attend the university um, is because it's often referred to as the poor man's iPad <laughs> because there it has many of the same features as the iPad. However, it is significantly cheaper at only $199 for the color, which has all of the features similar to an iPad. So its specifications are that it's about 7 inches and it is in color. There's Wi-Fi, which means you have full access to the internet, um, including a browser and everything. You can import and export documents and annotate them, and you can have potentially note-taking applications that you can download. You can, of course, keep all your books on it as its primary reader's tablet, and often some of those books are free. So, sounds great, right? $200 iPad essentially, taking notes, reading documents, reading books, having everything on that one little device. The turning point came for me, I was really excited about buying it, but the turning point came when I went to play with it at Staples and had an array of tablets to play with. However, the, there's a debate on whether or not it's the processor or the operating system or even the application used for note-taking that won't allow you to write actively. It has, um, when you start to write, it slowly understands what you have to write and it's just, it's very unnatural, which was the problem. So that was the breaking point for me because I really wanted to have that opportunity in class is to take notes, go paperless, have everything on that one device. But since it couldn't write, it there's, I can't annotate, which is a huge problem. So if you only want an e-reader with perks, essentially, so an e-reader with Wi-Fi, it's great. And it is a very good student tablet in that way for maintaining all your books, but not really feasible for actual note-taking and actual work within the classroom. So it's great for reading and not that great from a student perspective if you're trying to use it as much as possible.